Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. In this video I'm going to be introducing to you guys some of the Bootstrap classes which are really helpful to embed YouTube videos or your own source videos into your HTML document and make them responsive. So right now in this page I have this embedded YouTube video and if I just decrease the browser size, as you can see it's not responsive and uh, the way I did that let me show you the code and here we have the container class row and then the column so the column taking up to 12 units uh, for every device and then we have the iframe and I have the source which I'm embedding the YouTube one of my YouTube video and then we need to define the height and width of that so to working with YouTube videos or any source videos from your computer into your HTML document it's kind of complicated, but luckily Bootstrap have few classes that we can use to make our embedded videos responsive. Now let's use some of those classes. So first of all, I have this iframe. I need to get rid of this width and height. Let's get rid of it and save the file. And then I'm going to surround this iframe into a div. And then we're going to define a class here. So let's add a class. So the class is going to be embed dash responsive and then give it space. There's another class. We need to define the ratio of our video. So that would be embed dash responsive and then a ratio. So ratio will just keep that 16 by 9. So type 16 by 9. And then I'm going to give a space here and we close that div. And now we need to have another class in the iframe as well. So after our source, I'm going to open a class tag. And then here I'm going to type embed dash responsive dash item. Let's save the file. And if I refresh the page now, and as you can see that, I'm going to take my browser and just make it full width. And now I'm going to decrease the size of the browser. And as you can see, our video is basically responsive now. It's going to follow the grid layout. Now, if I change this to, let's just select this 12 and all of these instances by pressing Control D, I'm going to change this to six. I want to take, uh, I want to give this column a six columns on all the breakpoints. Let's refresh the page. And now, as you can see, it's following the grid size. I'm going to right click and inspect that as well. So we have the row and inside that column, I'm just giving it like six units out of 12. Let's close this. And now even if I increase or decrease the browser size, it's gonna follow those containers. All right, so that was a quick video and uh, let me show you the bootstrap documentation for that as well. So if you go to responsive embed, these are these classes. So div class embed responsive and you can change the ratio as well let me just give you guys another so if we just save say four by three okay that's another ratio where all no one uses it anymore so we'll just open the browser again where is our video i'm gonna right click and open that in the browser and now as you can see our youtube video has become a ratio of four by three instead of 16 by nine so you see those uh the black spots like the some of the area at the bottom and the top so it's gonna make it four by three ratio so it's really good use these classes to embed your uh, youtube videos or you can even just pass in the source of the video which is available in your computer all right so that was a quick video and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers